Good morning, traders. Paul here with Gamma Edge. Today is Monday, the 9th of January. Let's get started. Pause your players here. Read to the bottom. If you agree, hit that play button. As most of you are aware, uh, Friday was a, a transitional day. Uh, the short-term model has triggered a new long. Uh, we do note that we've been in a choppy market and this is prone to failure and reversal. That said, uh, on the longer term view, uh, the NAS 100 cumulative tick has confirmed a long term uptrend. You'll see that here in the following slide. The US composite is working at it. And our, uh, the foundation of our timer model, the ARCX and the S&P, uh, they're starting this transition, but they're not there yet. Uh, Friday saw a, uh, the PM settled complex uh, with a simultaneous rise in the goalposts. Uh, both the plus GEX and the minus GEX levels have moved up, and we take that as a, a short-term bullish uh, type of indication. We also note that the PM settled in the zero DTE have coincident transition ranges in this 3865 to 3875 range. We think that's a big deal. Uh, we don't normally see that. And when we have that, that usually forms a very, very uh, strong line in the sand for uh, if we do drop below, if we get pulled back up. Uh, we do note the PM settled complex has a positive gamma and delta expiry for today, and sometimes this creates a little bit of downside pressure, uh, especially if it's correlated with the SPY, the Qs, uh, and we see some monetization, so just be aware of that. Um, obviously, we did uh, experience quite a bit of change on Friday in the combo complex. Uh, this bullish structure now is supportive for the week, and uh, it'll be very, very interesting to see how how things play out for the week. Uh, upside target is 39.50. Uh, the structure today does not support a drop below the 37.80, uh, but you know anything can happen. We do think the uh, the 39.50 and points north uh, could be in the cards uh, this week, and certainly 4,000 if we continue the bulls uh, into next week. Uh, taking a look at the cumulative tick model, uh, we've gone from a very very uh, bearish condition uh, early last week and the week prior now to a, a situation where we're looking at uh, really the breadth starting to transition to a bullish. We need to see a continuation and the growth of the 52-week new highs, which will be the green line over the red line. If we continue to see this expansion, you'll know that we have broad participation in the market. That's good. Filtered cumulative ticks showing that Friday we had a lot of participation from the big boys and girls. That's good. Uh, we had a you know just a net buying uh, retail as well as the institutions were buying throughout the day. This is what we call linear up signal, very very strong signal, and the crossing of our historical ribbons uh, indicate uh, you know strength in the overall market. And you want to want to read these and pay attention to these. Uh, taking a look here at the tick Q, which is the Nasdaq. Uh, this started earlier in its uh, bullish transition, so the, it started way back here on the, the, uh, the 29th. Uh, we did get a, a failure with uh, the pullback that occurred right after uh, the first of the year uh, on the 3rd, and then you can see it's been off to the races ever since. And now with this transition that we have here, the longer term uh, cumulative tick timer has confirmed a long term trend in the queues, and so I would be paying attention to where you have good relative strength in, in the QQQ. Uh, taking a look here, as I noted at the open, um, we are seeing an advance in the PM settled complex. Uh, both of these have moved up, and that is uh, typically bullish. Uh, no real change in the combo complex, which is fine. Uh, the goalposts remain the same at 4,000 and 3,700 to the downside. We do have a net reduction in the overall open, high, low, close uh, expected move and any continued movement to the north uh, into a more call-dominated environment should continue to suppress volatility. Uh, taking a look here at the PM Settled Complex, uh, note that uh, we have transitioned to a net positive or net uh, uh, positive delta uh, environment. This is very constructive. You can see the overhead is very clean, supports us going up towards 4,000, which is where the call open interest is. 39.50 is the current upside target for the plus GEX, downside uh, line in the sand. 3,800 uh, is, is a very clean uh, signal. You can see that really is dominant out there. Uh, the structure down below here is improving dramatically. You can see the call uh, dominance here in the deltas all the way up to about this 4035 level. So that's very, very clean, very nice. Here is that transition line uh, between that 3865 and 3875. We're going to be watching this uh, over and over. 
Uh, that same uh, transition range, 3865 to 75, exists in the zero DTE, so it's actually carrying through. It also carries through, and you'll see this coming up, into the uh, when we look into the, the weekly uh, combo complex. It's uh, also coincident here. So this is a very, very strong line. Uh, we do think if we do drop below this uh, any time during the week, as long as it remains coincident across multiple time frames and, and multiple uh, instruments, that we uh, won't stay down here too long and we could get pulled up. So right now our bias is to the north. Now to the upside is 3960, 3965 most likely represents the maximum of what we could see today. Uh, we think we start hitting some resistance right around this 3940 level and then it, it, all but uh, uh, any contributions from the zero DTE above uh, 3960 will probably vaporize. Note uh, today's expiry is a net positive gamma and typically when we see a net positive gamma expiry we get a little bit of downside pressure so it would not be out of the question to, to go from where we closed on Friday maybe test this uh, this transitional range, maybe even go as low as 3850 or a little bit lower, but we do not expect to uh, remain down there for any length of time. The one DTE transitions a little bit fatter, a couple areas called out here where it would be uh, uh, observationally, we've seen uh, this type of structure, which is why I've circled it as a one here, uh, as a very, very good hiding place. So this 3915 would not surprise us at all if we were to close in this particular area. Uh, looking down to the downside, 3855, 3850 zone would also be a, a candidate as well as this uh, range from 3820 to 3830. So keep an eye on those. Uh, could be any of the above. Uh, we don't think uh, tomorrow with the structure we have right now, the 3980 is, is going to be breached, but you know it depends on what today's action is, of course. Uh, the combo complex, which is the mothership, it's got everything turned on. Uh, first of all, we're almost ready to transition to a call dominated structure. This is significant. We haven't been here for a while, so this is good. Uh, to the downside, still fairly ugly. We would want to see additional OTM uh, puts being closed, which will reveal the, uh, the, the in the money calls, uh, make the delta structure a little more clear down here. Um, you can see a very clean structure here between the 3815, 3820, as well as the 3945 to 3950. So we think this is the playground uh, in general. Uh, we think we're going to remain in this particular area. And then to the north, all the way up here to about 4035, really. I mean, we, we may push north, but uh, we don't think we're going to take out 4000 anytime soon. We need to see continued calls being opened up here and puts being closed as these, uh, as the in the money uh changes for those puts and they they fear for their uh, their profitability we'll see more closures here and that could actually fuel us up to uh, to the north taking a look at the crystal ball here uh, again just this today through friday turned on here you can see net positive expired for the week that could suggest a little bit of downside pressure you can see the deltas coming off for the week are fairly substantial so one thing that's very very important for this week is we need to we need to see continued progress of calls being opened and puts being closed um, and that has to be sustained day over day can't fuel the upside fire if you don't add calls and and uh, you know start pulling things to the north here that 3950 is very clean uh, you can see the line it's very very dominant here in terms of gamma and you can also see just at the overall levels here uh, the 3900 the 3950 and then again here at 4000 in terms of the delta so uh, the fact that these have all changed positive uh, above this 3780 level is very constructive for the week and we think uh, you know we, we could continue uh, pushing north uh, the overall combo structure just taking a look here um, this is relatively unchanged here's that 4000 upper goal post here's that 3700 lower goal post you can see we have a very tight grouping and magnitudes so as we move up the fact that these are remaining in in close proximity to each other means there's not a lot of change going on down here uh, nevertheless, we could easily bounce to this 38. We could drop to 36. It, you know, it's anyone's game about what happens as puts are closed or puts are opened uh, further down to take advantage of um, uh, convexity as well as uh, the, the betterment of price. We look at this transition. Very, very clean here. We're up here in this positive area. We typically stay closer to transition, so I would not be surprised at all at a pullback towards transition. So this 3870, 3875 area would be you know, very supportive of that. Uh, 3850 is the first line. We get below 3850 and you can see we could potentially start getting trapped again. But you know, we're, we're in pretty good shape right now. 
and I think uh, a run eventually up at that 4,000 strike uh, into this week and next week uh, are, are certainly possible. So that's it for today. Uh, if you uh, have any questions, comments, uh, go to this link right here, click on the pricing tab, fill out the blanks, and come on in, join us in the Discord. We have lots of great, great uh, traders. Um, everyone's willing to answer questions and, and uh, you know, kind of tell you what they are seeing. Uh, follow us on Twitter, please, and then here on YouTube, smash that like button if you like today's content. It gives me immediate feedback on providing you the content that you want to see. And then, of course, um, uh, subscribe. Uh, Taylor, myself, and Mike uh, are posting videos, uh, generally one to two a day, and we want you to stay abreast of what we're seeing and how we're using it. So with that, I bid you farewell. Make it a great week. Hope to see you in the Discord. Thanks.